Dee and Elizabeth outside the gates of heaven. Uh, all I could say is a uh, Lou, Pete, an uh, honored guest. Uh, we're having such a great time here this morning. The best of best to you. And uh, doesn't get any better. He's rallying to keep AM radio going on and on and on and on. Did you ever see anything like this, Lou? It's fantastic, yeah. It's great. Love it. And when they said we're going to give you an hour once a week on WPAT, what are you going to do? I said, we're going to do an all-request program. We're going to have drop-in guests. And when the Friday nights came along, I said, wow. That's how we met Jim, and uh, we're just snowballing. TV cameras, everything's in here. Oh, where's Joey Reynolds? Are you around? In, you know, uh, Joey is... Joey. Uh, he asked for you the other Did day, he? and he told okay. me, tell Lou I said hi, and that I'm Great. beyond the blue horizon. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows you That was his theme song, you know, at the, uh, right. in his show. He closed uh, each night or morning with it, you know. He, uh, Teddy spoke to uh, Joey yesterday. I know he knows you oh, down here. And I have a cell phone on if he needed it. And he's going to be down, what, in about three weeks, uh, Jim? And no. what do you want to say, Pete, Ted? Do you want to say, uh, comment? No, no, what I want to say is uh, uh, it was great to see uh, Lou Christie on the show tonight. And uh, Lou is a good talent, a uh, good songwriter, good singer, good sound. And uh, I think uh, Lou's always complaining that the industry is, <laughs> you know, uh, they all complain, you know, a lot of entertainers. But Paul McCartney doesn't complain, you know. Ah! And Lou Chris complains, you know. But, you know, I promote that album with uh, that One Direction. And, you know, and uh, said it could be done. Of course, you know, we had the TV on it, whatever. But, you know, Coldplay and another good group, you know. But the industry hasn't changed, okay? What I love about the industry today is there's more avenues to promote a record, okay? Because now you got a lot of television, you got videos, you got more stations, everybody's playing different things. Well, it's true, you know, the whole game is to an artist, okay, is when we can't get the record on the radio because they pro one guy programs all the stations, whatever it is. And they always mention Claire Channel and Citadel, uh, which is sold to uh, Cumulus at uh, Atlanta. That's not true, you know what I mean? If you have a good, good record, a good song, I mean, really good song, there's no way that a station is going to turn it down. It's according to who brings the record in, okay? And because it's a lot of respect going on. I mean, they're not going to play everybody's record when you bring it in. But if it's brought in with somebody that has good knowledge or a record that has a past hits of credibility, that's the name of the game with the radio. You know, all the radio guys are great guys, you know what I mean? And uh, to me, it, uh, I don't see anything tough about radio stations. I was in Pittsburgh, and I did a couple of radio shows there. The BBE was the number one rock station in Pittsburgh. I did KDKA, and this was only about two months ago. I mean, uh, I was on an hour, hour show on one of the stations. And we had all these discussions of radio, and... Believe, believe it or not, they even agreed what I had said. Okay, now I know all you artists out there. Well, well, how come I send my record? I never had what well, The question is, it's guys like me. I'm not the only one in the, in the world, I said, you know what I mean? But my credibility stands to be number one, but that's fine. But there's other people like me that promoters, you know, great guys, you know. And, uh, you know, give them a chance to promote the record on the radio. If they do well, they do well. If they don't get it done, that's another story. But there's a way of getting a record on the radio. But it's, you need more than radio today. It's not like a, a years ago where you get on the radio so the radio breaks the record in the town. But you need more than that. You need a lot of marketing involved in that. Of course, what I said before, you got television, you know, you got videos out there and all that. And also, you got to get the appearance of the artist in the town, okay? Get, get the artist around, and the radio hears that because a radio is not in the business to make the artist, okay? The radio business, and I know fa facts because I worked at all the biggest stations in the business, okay? And we always had the discussion. They're in the business selling time and in the business of pleasing the listening audience, okay? But number one is selling time, whatever it is. But it's not number one of breaking the honor. That's not their department. The department is guys like me to get out there, of course, to have the 
artist that played on the radio station, and that's how we sell records, whatever. Now, today, it's a different story. You don't have a lot of record places around, like Tower Records many years ago. Uh, what was the Sam Goodies? And Colony is Col going Col out this Col week. Colony Col is out. Colony is out, right. But Colony was not the main factor. Colony is one. But you had Tower Records that went out. You had uh, Record World went out. I mean, you, you, you know what I'm trying to say? You got HM Records. They're in business, whatever. But what it is today, you got Best Buy, okay? And they have a tough time, too, with their business, electronic business. You have you have Targets, you got Walmarts, you know? Because what it is also, when you have a record, you're promoting the record, and you get it on the radio station, you got to understand something. That radio station wants to know what's happening in town. And how's the radio station going to know what's happening in town? Why having you sending postcards, postcards and telling the radio, this guy, whatever it is, hey, I, I want to hear this record, here's a request. No. When they call these big department stores, you want make sure that they list your record. And if they don't list your record, that's it. Now, many years, even though the Beatles, look, I've been with the Beatles for many years. An individual, I was the promotion manager, I was the head of Apple Records, but I had to also concentrate on the storekeepers, okay? Because the one, when the trade magazines call, like the billboard, okay? Now, the billboard's got sound scam and they get it from, from the stores. But sound scam is not working good anymore because you don't have the record stores anymore. You don't have counts on that. So what it is is these big, big department stores, they called. And a lot of times I remember all my years and breaking the Beatles, whatever it is. I get everybody said, well, the Beatles, they've got to break the Beatles. Well, that's tough. Go ahead, try it, and you'll see what happens. I appeared in a lot of stores, you know, and make sure that they list that record I have. And a lot of them, you can't trust a lot of people years ago in the record stores and say, well, we're going to list your record number 10, number 15. I had to get on a plane and go to one store, okay, that has like 40 points, whatever it is, and I was right in front of the guy's desk because I knew when Billboard magazine was going to call at quarter to 10. And, I, and the guy says, well, Pete, you can walk around here and look. No, 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 I want to stay out. I, 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 I just want to uh, stay. The, by the, he didn't want me to stay by his of desk. Of course not, did but, but let me tell you something. When he was by the desk, that record was on. But when he saw my face, he said, oh, hey, yes, John Lennon, imagine, yeah, number five, whatever it is, he listed. So I know I got Chicago in, and that would made it the number one, you understand? But the business hasn't changed. I love the business, okay? And I love radio, okay? I, in the mints, I'm always want to buy radio stations and things like that. That was my game, you know, because I love it, you know what I mean? And besides that, it's it's a business that, uh, to me, uh, I, look, uh, it's all my life, okay? And I know what it is. I mean, everybody's complaining. Honest, I don't blame honest complaining. You know, lose the words, tough. It's not tough. No, no, it's not tough. It's not tough because, because what it is, what it is is a lot of artists don't know. They don't know. Because know why they don't know? Because they haven't been in the, the, the record business, such as knowing about what's going on. They know about what they think it's going on, okay? But if you, if the way I started in the record distributing business, I, I was a few to me. I was an artist, okay, a big name artist. And a few to me is a, what the record distributor starting from the bottom and knowing about the retail business and what it takes to, to make a hit, whatever it is. Like there's cuts that Lou Christie has out. There's a couple of songs I heard. I'll give you an example. You know, he, it's talk, lip service, lip service is very easy to talk, but there's certain records he has. So I gave him a point. Nash will be a good town for certain songs. Well, oh, no, I could go to Nash. No, it's not. It, yes, it's hard for an artist to do it. Do you understand? Or you go to somewhere else. Oh, Pete Bennett said you could go to there. Well, get it on. You understand? But I know that if it's promoted right in Nashville, Nashville, I'm talking about one of his songs, there's no question the song could hit. Okay? And Nashville could break the song. Nashville's looking for good songs. Of course, once again, there's stations that go by Claire Channel, Nashville, which is number one. Another station, Zipfido, which Cumulus just bought, uh, uh, all the stations. There's the other station in Nashville, okay? And I know the guys, and if I want them to say this record, if it's good sounding for the station, they'll play it. But, but, you got to back the station. In other words, the station will play it if they do program it, and they program it for a week or two, and nothing happens with that record, that song, it gets off. The, the, million, the million dollar question is to keep it on the radio. 
And the know. only way you keep keep it on the radio, wait, the only, but Mr. Photography's on the phone, you know. <laughs> the only way... I had a question. Yeah, yeah. The only way, yeah, you have all the questions you want. But the way to keep it on the radio... You got it? The only way to keep it on the radio, once again, when you have in Nashville, you have a lot of Best Buys in Nashville. Very important. Best Buys are very important in Nashville. When, when they have the, the records in there, when Best Buys list them records, okay, because the station, I know what stations go by. Right. I know what station is going to go by. If they go by Best Buy or if they go by Target, there are certain stations go by Target. you got to know the business and know what stations. The only way to know that is got to know the personalities at the station. Then Joey Reynolds, to go back to 62, didn't Joey Reynolds burn out the acetate for Sherry and he played so much they threw him off the radio station? I don't, know about, the I don't know about John Joey Reynolds. I know Joey for many, many years. But I'm saying, didn't he wear out the record and really help Frankie out his career? That's the story that's... Well, I don't know about Frankie's career. I broke Sherry, by the way. So let's face it, if you want to hear more about that, let's go to the next question. <laughs> what okay. do you think, Jimmy? I'm going to break a breaking question. That's all. To break the record, I promoted Sherry. And, okay. and let me tell you, the time I promoted Sherry, when I had the time, I handled Nike King Code, okay? I handled Nike King Code for five years. At the same time, I promoted Sherry, okay? And it was Nike King Code's record, Ramblin' Rose and Sherry. So now, uh, one to two. You understand? So I have both records that go one and two. I broke that record, those records. That's the end of the story. Good, next. I just want to say, Lou, your website is so easy to navigate. I don't know if you put it together or if you had somebody do it for you, but excellent. Excellent job. And we have a treat for Sonny in Brooklyn. I hope it doesn't skip. I have it on the turntable. I'm going to make sure I have the quarter on the turntable. Okay. Watch out for the 33 RPM. Lou Christie, since I fell for you, put that quarter down. And Anthony, give me a hand with that needle. And away we go. Away we go. <laughs> That's a little too high. 